<laughs> hey guys, this is Kat Mayer from Bitten Apple TV. We're here at Ripley's, believe it or not. Summer's over. That's right, we're down to the pumpkins and Christmas soon. And St. Nick always button his butt somewhere where he doesn't belong. Um, but we're here down at Ripley's, believe it or not, to enjoy the last few days of summer getting out some ice cream from Odd Fellas. Um, we're here to enjoy ourselves and just look back at the wonderful and incredible summer that we've all had. And if you hadn't had a chance to uh, enjoy such a wonderful, incredible summer, you're going to have an amazing autumn and Christmas. And next show will get better. It always gets better, baby. Trust me. Hey guys, this is Cadme here over from Bitten Apple TV. Now we're here at Ripley's. Believe it or not, summer's over. However, we are enjoying ourselves with some delicious ice cream. Now we're here over here with Chris. He's serving us some fantastic flavors. One of them I saw looks like beer. <laughs> um, so he's representing from an incredible ice cream parlor shop down in Brooklyn, New York. And we're going to learn a little bit more about the Odd Fellows. So, um, one, I love the name. Fantastic. What is your favorite uh, flavor that you sell here? Um, for the flavors we have today, uh, the maple bacon pecan is so delicious. That sounds like breakfast. And, <laughs> and my mother said I couldn't have ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> Fooled ya. Um, so um, I want to know a little bit more when people are like running around like, oh man, I gotta go to an ice cream shop. Um, what would you want them to know when they walk in the kind of experience that they're going to gain? They're going to be experiencing something different than most other ice cream shops. Um, we have your regular vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, but we also have things like cheese ice cream, um, beer and cherry, as you were talking about before, and um, a raspberry peppercorn. So you're not going to get those flavors everywhere. So where, where, where is that creation coming from? Like, who's sister there and goes, you know what would make a really good ice cream? Probably besides me at three o'clock in the morning, but <laughs> but like, what is the process for you guys to go? You know what would be a fantastic? You know, let's do something that's a cheese because there are people who love cheese, like myself and Urkel. Um, but <laughs> but where where is this all coming from? Um, our head chef and part owner Sam Mason is a award-winning chef. Uh, he comes up with all these ideas himself, and it's his crazy mind that brought this to life. This is absolutely fantastic. Now. Um, even though it's winter is coming, no Game of Thrones comments, guys. Uh, <laughs> um, you guys are going to be open all year round. Everyone can come in. So do you guys ever take like large orders for parties or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Um, at our shops, we do um, kids' parties. We do uh, boozy alcohol parties as well. Uh, we do events like this all the time here at Ripley's. So uh, we do all that stuff. And then we have some like hot stuff, too, we sell at the shop, like hot ice cream sandwiches. Oh my God, I think I'm, I don't know if he realizes that, but I'm about to propose. Um, <laughs> so for those who are not familiar with New York City, they're like, oh my God, how do I get to find the Odd Fellows? Where can they go in New York City to go find you guys? Yeah, our main shop is in Williamsburg, um, off of the Bedford L stop. We also have a shop in the East Village. It's a smaller shop, it's ice cream sandwiches. And then at least until the end of the month, we're doing a pop-up shop of soft serve in Soho. You guys heard that, right? Get all to three, three locations. Whether you're from New York City or if you're just in New York City visiting, make sure you go to the Odd Fellows and see the odd flavors that you'll find there. Thank you so much. Um, I'm very excited to try the beer and cherry. Thank you. Bye. So beer and cherry, or should I be a little fresh like something? Hey guys, um, so I managed to open up my big mouth like usual and <laughs> um, down, at, um, down at Ripley's again and I had to ask them, ask one of the workers, do they ever get the chance to prank people because it's Ripley's believe it or not and by me opening up my big mouth, I have a prank coming along my way. Come and come and join us, join us love. Say hi to Bitten Apple TV. <laughs> so you will be trying a chocolate covered ham. So I will put it on your plate. 
and you get some chocolate covered in. All right, guys. Next is gonna be the Food Network. <laughs> Very chocolatey. Little crunch to it. Little crunch to it. <laughs> there you go. Believe it or not, you just ate some chocolate covered in. It's a delicacy. It's a delicacy. <laughs> I'm coming to say hi. Hi. She works here. She's absolutely fantastic. Emma. That's right. Sexy Emma. <laughs> and she'll give you chocolate covered ants. Oh my god, you know what? That is actually pretty good and it tastes good. It, it has tastes good. and everything in it. I know, it's crunchy. Has I like do a have some actually covered chocolate covered insects like crickets and larvae and stuff. This is what I get for opening up my big mouth. You. Let's do it. <laughs> get myself in so much trouble. But really though, it does. It's not what I was expecting. But then again, you know, I'm just having like, you know, a first world problem kind of like issue. Like first worlders were like, oh. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a delicacy. But that's really good, though. I'm still enjoying this beer and cherry. Hold on one second. She's so fast with all the bugs. I thought I was buying myself time. <laughs> the option of white chocolate or milk chocolate, some larvae or crickets. Um, what's your recommendation? <laughs> I'm gonna give you the white chocolate cricket. I put it on your spoon. You know, there's no texture. I thought there was going to be texture. I had this whole other image in my head that I'm like, what is this going to taste like? Oh, no, I felt that. <laughs> but that was good. I'll try the next one. Let's go. I can do it. A milk chocolate larvae for this one. I'm meeting somebody's kids. You guys realize this is how I'm ending my summer. I'm meeting people's kids. <laughs> Oh, that's that's extra that's extra crunchier than what I was expecting. Now I feel like I'm starring in um, you ever see, not Fear Factor. There's a Chinese horror movie called Dumplings. Very twisted, dark story. Now I feel like I should look beautiful forever. For anyone who watches those movies, you guys will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Next one, I could do it. The last one, and this one is a cricket. She she said that plural. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> On the box, a cricket. She heard the crunch. <laughs> I think it's this like, I don't know if that's a limb or what that is, but I can feel that. But everything else is fine. The chocolate has like a nice smooth way of covering it. Like you're not eating what you think you're eating, what you know that you're eating, but you're like, I'm not eating that, right? Thank you so much, Emma. I'm now going to be starring on a Food Network show. I feel like it should be woman versus food now. <laughs> She'll give me chocolate covered anything. Thank you so much, Emma. <laughs> you too. Bye. <laughs> I need more of this beer and cherry. Hey guys, it's Cadme here. Now we're sitting here talking to a couple of people here at Ripley's, believe it or not. So I've stumbled across Danielle and I wanted to ask you, one, we know the Oddfellows ice cream is very delicious, but what are you going to miss about summer? Um, everything. <laughs> That's a fair answer. And what about you, young man? What are you going to miss about summer? Well, summer is the best. So everything? Yeah. Everything, no school, just all fun, movies and everything? Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You guys are so adorable. I'm, I'm making up the music as I look because I think I'm starring in Dirty Dancing. Um, <laughs> but hi guys, thank you so much for joining us here, over here at Ripley's Believe It or Not. That summer is basically over, so yeah, we're going to be moving into autumn. 
uh, St. Nicholas, who's going to be button his butt in Halloween like usual, but Halloween is going to be the next event. Thank you guys so much for, again for really joining us. Make sure that when you're looking for the next kids party, you're looking for the next boozy party, you make sure you give a call out to Odd Fellows. Get on the L train, get off at Bedford, and go find yourself an Odd Fellow. Bye! Oh, it's part of the, it's part of the picture. It's a prop. Let's try this again. Okay. Oh, like you're holding it. Oh, that's good. Zoltar is here to give you the wisdom of the ancients. Do with it what you will. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for. It is a thing to be achieved. Create your destiny wisely, my friend, and surrender a bit more wealth for more instruction from Zoltar. I like this guy. <laughs> Thank you so much.